I thought it would be fun if I... This piece of wood I have in my hand here is probably worth more than your average vintage guitar, like a really nice one at that. It comes from a legendary tree that had a bit of a celebrity vogue in the 90s, uh, and I'm gonna tell you the story. It will help you to understand better and make your own judgement about whether it's worth the cost of it, and also why it's so expensive and why it's so sought after by many people. So here's the story of the tree mahogany, uh, and this is where this piece of wood came from. Okay, here's where our tale begins. We're in Belize, the year is 1960, and it concerns a tree. Now a group of loggers were patrolling the forest just looking for some good trees to, you know, fell and sell when they were deep in the undergrowth and they suddenly discovered a magnificent giant of a mahogany tree. There's actually a great photo of about 12 fully grown men with their arms widely stretched out and holding hands and a line of them doesn't even make it around the corner of the radius of the trunk. I mean, it was a big tree, so they did see a bit of a financial opportunity here, which is quite sad, but what's even worse is that when they did fell the tree, it was so big it just fell the wrong way, and it fell right into a ravine from which they couldn't retrieve it. So they had no choice but just to leave it there. Anyway, time goes by, days turn to months, months to years, and the tree spends its days amongst the fishes. But anyway, come the 80s, we have another man who enters our story, also on a mission to sell and fell large mahogany trees. His name was Robert Novak. Now Robert Novak was a smart dude and he did come across the tree and realised that he could use the ravine to his advantage to get the tree free. He used the power of running water to float the tree downstream. Further down the stream he was eventually with his team able to lift out the tree and put it through his steam powered sawmill that he brought to the forest to cut trees into manageable sizes. That's when he first cut into this tree and saw the beautiful genetic mutation that had occurred beneath the bark. He had discovered a tree like no other, never seen before or since. The wood was actually described as having a tortoise shell figure and as Novak sold the wood to furniture makers, word quickly spread about its beauty. George Lucas of Star Wars fame even heard about it and asked to have his office in San Francisco panelled in it. And of course, eventually, acoustic guitar makers heard of it and thought how much of a beautiful addition it would make to any instrument. Plus, the origin species was mahogany, which, as we know, is a very reliable and lovely tone wood. Between guitar nerds and luthiers, the tree has become a real source of controversy and admiration alike. With its hefty price tag owed to its rarity and fame, guitars featuring the tree mahogany are some of the most expensive in the world. So as I say, this piece of wood is from that tree. It's from the tree mahogany. And uh, I got sent this during my first apprenticeship. Well, I was given this during my first apprenticeship, which is pretty mad. And I got given it by a guy called Jay Howlett, who's like the main tree supplier. And it's literally his job to go around America and look in old like junk stores and furniture workshops and find bits of the tree that have been forgotten about and then make them into guitar sets and sell them on. So thank you, Jay. I still am too scared to build with this wood. Hopefully I will muster the strength to build with it at some point, but at the moment I'm settling into my new workshop and I'm not going near it with a barge pole. Bear in mind that a set like this probably costs around £3,000 and bear in mind that when you're commissioning a, a guitar, luthiers will often upcharge that cost as well just in case they crack the wood or the wood breaks in some way, which is often not the fault of the luthier. Like if there's a weak piece of wood, then it was always going to crack. So anyway, upcharging protects against that. So if you're commissioning a tree set, you're looking at, you know, six grand just for the wood. I thought it would be fun if I attempted to record what the wood sounds like, because inherently tone wood has, which you may know, uh, a sound to it. it. It has a ringing sound and generally the louder the ring, the better the timber is equipped to be made into an instrument. You can really tease out the qualities of tone wood when you're building an instrument, but that's a whole different kettle of fish that I won't get into. I'll do that in another video. As I say, the tree is a species of mahogany, albeit genetically mutated. But is the sound superior to mahogany? Should we find out? I'm really not getting much. I know what I'm gonna do. Come with me, we're going on a trip. So, we're gonna be using this Nyman U87 to record the tree because it's got a relatively low noise floor as mics go compared to sort of ribbons and stuff it's quite sensitive should be pretty good for quite quiet sound sources uh, it's also pretty flat frequency response as it goes um, so hopefully you should just be getting a relatively uh, you know 
accurate representation of what the wood sounds like. Also, it is just a mic that kind of everybody knows. They're pretty much a studio staple. So um, it's the sort of thing where a lot of studios, you know, you get the idea of basically what the wood will sound like. It's not sort of too specialist. Ready? Yeah. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit underwhelmed here. I think I was expecting something magical because of the power of marketing. And I have read on the internet that this wood sounds extraordinary. And Hugo actually pointed out that the attack was great, as was the bass response. But if I was ordering a tree guitar, I'd do it for the look and not the sound. If a luthier does their job right, they can make any wood sound great. So do you guys think that this wood is worth it? Like, do you think that if you have the means, and maybe you do have the means, would you commission a tree guitar? And if so, would you do it as an aesthetic collector's piece that you hope will gain value in the future? Or would you do it as an everyday instrument that you just cart around and play gigs with? I wanna know your thoughts, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed our little uh, adventure into the tree mahogany.